Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov. I didn't, I wasn't sure if I was even going to make an episode today. I just spent the last hour and a half working on some uh, laminate flooring, but I think I'll try and sneak in at least a shorter episode, see if I have time. Um, did quite a few things in between episodes. I scratched my head and thought about this for a while and watched the way that they travel in and around and thought this might work out well. Stuck a well in there and we'll plant it up later to once we see what that's going to look like. Um, it was suggested that we... <laughs> strongly suggested that we get rid of this sand pit. And I do agree. I've been trying to figure that out for 10 episodes now. How do we keep this guy running efficiently and yet have this, you know, the sand and clay nearby, but without having the, sa the sand nearby? Problem is, there's no green left besides right here or tearing buildings out in order to put sand out in this area. Best we can do is get out over here. But with that said, there's only three more row houses going in. So what does that mean? It means 9,300 bricks, 10,000 bricks, or 19,000 bricks. And what does a corner house need? Corner two story is another six. So what I said, 19, so 25,000 bricks. We have in stock right now 22,000. So for that, I'd say we don't truly need the efficiency anymore like we did before. So this could very well move over. In fact, let's, I guess, think about that right now. If I did, it would be over here. So we've got some kind of a fishing dock going in at this point. I'm not building it until these are all built, fenced in, and I see what that really looks like, you know, up against that so I don't put it in then just tear right back out again because I didn't like the way that it looked. But it's quite possible that'll be fine or I could even kick it off a little bit over here to get further away. Let's assume I'm going to do that. Let's just drop that right there to put a placeholder. If I'm going to do that, then let's grab sand and am I recording? I am. I always have to check that. I don't know how many times I've gotten 20 minutes in and realized, oh, that microphone is off. And, oh, that just, that just kind of ruins your whole evening. Yeah. But if we did that there, this guy could then go in. Hmm. Problem is we got a whole bunch of trees to take out. That doesn't go well. It really doesn't. Um, if this stayed where it was... Let's delete you and delete you and see if there's a place right in between that looks just as good. So let's place the sand first. So you would be... Ah, the game is performing calculations. That's that thing I mentioned a couple episodes ago that I've never seen before. Something that's brand new that's been added, but it, was, it wasn't it was mentioned in any of the hotfixes. So there have been things added to the game that there weren't notes about. Or that has always been there, but it's never come up before with me. But I've only noticed that just recently. But if this went here, I could get away with only one or two trees. Or I can even sneak out a little further, but I'm pushing it. Um, if it went right there. And is that the way to the orientation? Or should we aim out? We're going to be traveling, well, these guys probably be traveling out like this to go in. Though they might, well, they'll probably work their way through like this, won't they? <laughs> yeah. To tell them, can you just stick to the main road? It doesn't really work. They'll do whatever they please. Let's grab, actually, let's delete you and grab you again and try rotating you like this. Can't dig here. Ah, oh, because it's all red. Now, you can go partially, you know, as long as there's 50% of it. So I think it's, I think it probably just wouldn't be as efficient, but it should still work. But I could do something like that. Kind of parallel with a shoreline. And it would back off from the, uh, the shore a little bit. So if we went there, what do we have left for sticking a fishing dock over here just to give us more buildings that look like... See how it bounces? It says, uh-uh, and won't even... If I hold the alt, no, it won't let me even consider it. 
Yeah, it has to do with an elevation. So if we were to do that, I would need to leave enough room to get around it. Because otherwise there's there's no... The main road's going to come across here. And shoot across into... I guess into something like that. So that's pretty much where it was before. We won't build that yet. We could build this one though. And just get it popped in there. It just needs a bunch of guys to walk over and say, uh-huh. Let's see, we'll put you right there. If these guys continue. They're, they're finishing over here. They'll go over there and bang on that a couple times and it'll be done. Then we'll think about, and before I do any more, the whole point was I could put the uh, the chickens in here. But now I'm kind of even questioning that. Um, chickens are right there. I guess we could if we rotated it into this orientation. Then it's possible it could sneak in there. Yeah, we could do something like that. The door is down over there is still exposed and wouldn't have to move the fence hardly at all or maybe even not move the fence, I don't know. It is the wrong kind of roof awfully close. It'd have to be right there, which means I'd have to move the fence just a little bit. Which means I'd probably bump the fence up a little bit here and then take it all the way across and then tap in over here, which I think would look better to have a little bit of fence out there. So fire off a cross over here somehow. That might work, but the idea was to get a chicken coop over in this area. Would the chicken coop look worse than a sand pit that close? I don't know. But yeah, the sand pit doesn't look good. I just, I'm not convinced the chicken coop looks good either. But that gives us options. We could relocate this guy to somewhere else. You were bricks. I mean, theoretically, you probably should be out over here somewhere or even right back in here would be fine and um, we've got a, a main road coming in from this bridge shooting in like this somewhere so there could be another warehouse sitting right here loaded up with bricks yeah that looks very plausible something like that Let's see rotate you just a touch like so yeah we could do that just drop you in the list I mean it's not like we can see those little squares anymore anyway <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you're next. We're just about finished with you. I'm running it nice and slow because things are happening. Um, I was going to try something, an experiment. I moved these, flipped them backwards. That way I got rid of the split road. I think that will work a little bit better. The road kind of curves through here anyway, coming out of here and into there and goes off this direction. So I curved these a little bit and then fenced in behind it and we'll let all this grass grow back in and see if that... Pretty much, looks like that needs to come down just a little bit lower, down to about here. But, and then another V down in here somewhere. As this fence goes in and, and we start to establish new traffic patterns, we'll see how it uh, how it all lays out and redo that. So we'll need to figure out what to do in this little area. But, I before the episode started, I was looking around. still have nobody, no ladies hired over here. What do we have in the way of um, ladies available? to looking for a job 10 looking for a job around the map as well as five that are acting as laborers so there's 15 ladies available so we've got employment options but getting them to take that particular job if they live close enough to be able to take it that's kind of what's what's going on there this just finished what i was wondering though is i've noticed a lot of people are taking the laborer positions now and, and or unemployed, meaning they are bouncing from, where are we? Uh, am I in the right place? Population. They're bouncing from right, I'm on a scroll, right here. 18 and 9, looking for a job, and labor is 15 and 6. They're taking these positions more so, even though there's lots of jobs available. And I'm convinced it's a distance thing. I'm convinced we're not filling up this very often because now uh, I think the distance has been decreased and now they only have this pool of houses to draw from whereas before they were drawing from much further around and so they're just less people qualified to even reach this that's my suspicion but it's possible that the game has somehow balanced things toward laborers I've been told before 
that some people will go in and decrease the laborers' wages considerably to make sure they always take the, the worker jobs instead. I did knock it down one notch a couple episodes ago. Let's take it down a few notches. Now, I don't want to go too extreme, but we'll do something like that and up one over here. So there's 40 cents difference between the two. And we'll see if some of these jo worker jobs start to fill in. There is one lady that hired over here now. So I got two positions over there, one position there, four positions there. Um, at the time, none of these had filled in. One did. So two positions over here. And let's just see what happens there. I'm curious. So we'll let that run for a while and see if that uh, that thins out. As well with, um, where are we, in October? Well, next March, I could set a lot more of them to go back into seasonal hiring. So they will all fire for a month, and then when they rehire, they'll grab the job closest to them. And maybe some of these people that might be working over here might grab those jobs and let people over here grab these jobs and kind of move the population around to jobs that are better you know, better positioned for them. So that's another tactic I'm going to play with. But that's all kind of running in the background right now. Um, let's peek on this, folks, over here. 176, 170, so things keep moving in and out. Still not much income. Not a lot of people are using this tavern compared to this tavern over here. Income of 16, income of less than 2. Yeah, so, but as these houses all start to go in, I'm hoping that as the traffic patterns change, they will stop off at this one instead of make the trip over to that one or just happen to be over there anyway and stop off. Um, so we put that one in. We're going to move this out. This is what they're working on now. So it's a matter of these guys walking over there to uh, to deal with it. And there's one right there. I don't think they have to do much work. They bang a shovel against it a few times and it's finished then we'll tear this guy out in fact i could probably do that now sand we have 900 built up so let's demolish you and set you as the next job so that gets done i went through redid the placement of the uh, glassworks the pottery and three storage warehouses for this area so that the road would come up here and kind of dead end, split off like so, take off there, take off there. And I think I'm going to move these over a little bit so we can take off here and then maybe move this bridge more in alignment either here or here. And yeah, I'm going to change a little bit of this before they start building it so that there is a, a more pronounced road that comes through this end and works its way into this neighborhood and across. We have kind of a, a, a wagon wheel here shooting through there through there through there across the whole thing and into here I don't know what's gonna happen here yet I still haven't figured that out but sand pit is in they're gonna tear this one out and let's set this guy and go ahead and make that happen this episode you are that one you are so you are next after the sand pit and unfortunately I can't start emptying this until I get that one built because there's no other storage free in this area 8600 9700 uh, 8500 between all of that there's, there's some room over here I could put 8000 in there real quick I could or I could just wait and use the cart system to move that over and not tie up a whole bunch of laborers to figure that out family settling into our town great you popped into there so, well, look at the raspberries. And one thing I've noticed, I know this came up a year ago, maybe, uh, in Ostrov, that there were complaints that it seemed like every house had honey, and everybody had so much honey, and it was just, you know, drowning in honey, and that was altered. And now, even out here, I, there's a tiny bit of honey that made it in. All of these new houses we put in, none. I don't see honey anywhere except for that strip right there. This little patch in the corner, and that's it. Honey is now a rare commodity. 
<laughs> I'd like to have some more honey. All right, so we're going to work on this one next. We're going to empty this one into it. This goes away, and we start playing with a, a chicken coop. Though I could chicken coop here right now, maybe. Come on, click, click, click. There you are. There. So chicken coop. Uh, that corner flipped like so. It looked like it would be very tight if it did fit. I wanted to just see. Well, it could. One tree to remove. Whoops. One little maple tree I just put in there. But it could be done. And it could be done without moving that that um, warehouse. Do we want the warehouse? Let's see. You are right there. I don't know that I like that roof there. Let's move the warehouse and stick this roof out over here. A little bit further away. Yeah, I think so. Now, actually, question is, do we move the clay pit? Chicken coop could go in here and leave a little buffer with woods and, you know, trees. Clay does what right now? Too bad sand couldn't go there. Um, grab you. So you could go anywhere in here. You could, Actually, no. Green. So green, I, I had in my mind green means sand, but now green means clay. Okay. So you could go off in this direction. That's being used as a road, but it wasn't intended to be. Just Let me just play with this for a little bit. It doesn't look good in here. There is a main road right here, and there just isn't room. So it doesn't go there. It doesn't necessarily go here. I don't know that I want it in there. Do we just make them all walk out here for their clay as well? I mean, it seems reasonable off on the outskirts of town. That's kind of interesting. This is almost, almost perpendicular. If I aligned you kind of with this, it's not a perfect alignment because it's curved, but I could do something like this and then curve that. Well, that one's already in, so they, he's staying no matter what. But I could do something like that. Roads, got a main road that comes in. Where it goes, I don't know. It might just end right there. It might, it might well just tee right here. Maybe there is no outlet at this point. Maybe the main road cuts through. And the fence just ends this whole thing and we don't move through. They can leave and go out this way. And you know, I like that better. Rather than the arch idea over here. Do we get rid of the arch there? Let me play with that idea of this being a closed community. Entered from the front and the back only. Don't know that I like that, but it is something to think about. Hmm. Okay, well, clay over here instead. I think that works. Though it is quite a ways away for construction, and we're going to use a lot of clay in here. So should clay be up in this area as well? I mean, we could do two of them. We could stick a clay right in there. For that matter let's think about that though I've got this aligned to here so let's set it because I've already aligned it you go here and I want a little bit of space in between so we can get a, a cart through there should we want to so you're gonna go there and let's grab another one of you head into here zoom out a little further Main road comes through and ends. Tees off. Goes up this way. I'm trying to force them to you know, move around the map a little bit. So we don't want to get into this area. So this area is probably off limits. So what is in here? Is there a place that has very few trees to take out? There's two. There's one. I think that might be a winner as a temporary source of clay for building the rest of the buildings up in here. Maybe. 
I mean, that's I'm not committing to that, but it works. We could also stick it just anywhere in here and then tear it out later. Though I may want to put the market in before we put the houses in. So the market area has got to be available. Yeah, let's go with that. It's not that much of a, of a difference in distance. So you are going to move up there next to that warehouse. That warehouse does come out. We play with chickens in this area somewhere. And we'll see how that goes. So we just got a trader suspended until next spring, November. Okay, so the game is giving us false hopes again. Speaking of false hopes, whatever happened now that we've changed the wages? We got a worker. A worker. A worker. Okay, so how do we do here? These guys are closer to the middle of town. So they're a lot easier to hire because there's a lot more people living around them. So those worked. And so we got one in each of these at this point. These guys are fine. We have more guys available than, than ladies right now. So they will hire up a lot easier. Um, though they were available to do all the labor positions and still had a hard time filling those in. But we'll go with that for now. Um, got to thinking about something. I tried to move the extra iron ore out of the mine to the iron ore storage by cart and was surprised that that's not an option so cart iron ore move 10,000 in fact I, I tried the 10,003 let's see if there's a chance it didn't happen because it was more than the storage could hold but as soon as I clicked on that it said oh it said uh-uh-uh last time I guess it's because this will hold 10,000, and that was 10,003. I guess so. Okay, well, we're going to move 10,000 iron ore over here. Cool. Now, you guys just rehired, because I'm only running you certain months out of the year. So you are into November, waiting for another guy to jump into here. You guys, okay, so you guys are taking out logs through this stretch, just to kind of clean this area up. And I see most of them are taking this pathway now. Oh, the, the cattle are taking this pathway. And there's enough feet right there to carve a very good road. <laughs> so I may need to f eventually fence off this area so that the cattle come down the main road here and go in wherever they need to go. Yeah, I might do that just to make this work a little better. Um, anyway, so the, you guys are going to be doing that. You guys are... And I'm going to see how well they're doing. I set all these trees first. And then I hit that little area. we got a... Yeah, we may not get to those. I may move these sheds back a little bit. Or, uh, warehouses. And then I set these guys here. So I, I raced all the green, all the red arrows and reset them to concentrate right here. So we can get the glass works going the soonest. So that might happen here real quick speed this up a little bit so clay is going in right right there yeah so that's going in trees coming down and then I think well we'll leave that there this may turn into more industrial area without the clay pit at some point or it might just remain a forest I don't know so this fit well it's the right spot for this little area. I'll leave that for now. Okay. November, the last of the uh, the shipments from last episode are on their way in. Okay, so this did get built. It did. So you are ready to go. I want you hired up. I want you to be... Can I copy-paste? No. So I want you to be bricks. I want you to be 10,000. And I want you to empty zero and actually just turn you off and I want you to make empty which I would normally fire these two but I believe they will help to move everything otherwise this is available and at this point I guess mm, Trying to decide whether to maintain 
certain jobs just for the ladies. But right now we're starting to run out of ladies. But you will actively go in and haul bricks out of here. Though you may just well haul the bricks out of here. That's very possible too. Yeah. I really want this hauled out of here. So let's give some, some incentive here. And let's say hire by men. So or laborers by men so that they do it by cart. And so same thing there. Just men and give you oh a big boost in wages. And we'll just do this one by cart. And let's see if we can't get these moved out of here real quick. What was that last noise that came up? Clay pit's done. Okay. So that clay pit is done. This can go away. And that can move up to next somewhere in there. Um... Where am I at? Only 25 minutes this time. Huh. Felt like I've been doing this for a while. Um, I do want to get that moved over and the chicken coop in soon. I've got set up a well. That's that one. And that won't take them long to do it. So I'll just leave that alone. Then the clay pit taken out. This well going in because I got to thinking, yeah, there's people living on this side too. I probably should give them some water on over here. These are barely making it. So we're going to need a few wells for this number of people living here. So that'll go there. This will probably go away. They're so close to each other. But we're going to need a couple of wells out in this area eventually. And as we get more of these going, maybe if this just is a fence and end caps, then there'll be a well over here as well as some kind of a sitting area. And, and yeah, we'll see how that goes. But... You, there we go. Starting to hire up over here and get that going. They'll get that moved out rather quickly. There's already, well, only 600. Can they only do it two at a time? 200 at a time? Yeah. Even with carts, it's only 200 at a time. So that's going to be a while. Did you guys get this stuff moved out? Uh, try that again right there. Not very well. I bet you they're moving that at like two at a time too. Yeah, awaiting 9,800, but I think it's 200 per cart. I think they're going to be doing this for the next 15 episodes. <laughs> it's quite possible. How are you guys doing employment-wise? You're still full. Now, we boosted this up to make that happen, right? No, 100 to 100. It's just once they finally got there, they were willing to stay. You guys have left. Interesting. Yeah, you know, it's... 100% pay, so we're not getting a bonus. We fired them in August, which might have been a mistake. We'll see. Though this next August, I might fire everybody. Let the whole town reset and move into jobs that are close to where they live. That might be, uh, you know, the next uh, March. I might, if I remember to, I might try that tactic. Everybody, food booths, everything on seasonal hiring for March. Everybody turns off and does all the labor jobs everywhere, gets everything reset, and then just see how the game rehires everybody or does not rehire anybody, one or the other. Maybe set all the wages back to neutral and just see what the game is able to do on its own you know, nowadays. But you're going to be a long time. We're not going to get you done this time. Even if I ran at fast speed, 200 per trip, that's going to take forever. I could... Now, slow down. You emptying storage. You will only do it, even though you're a worker. You'll only do it by hand. Interesting. Is it because there are no carts? Now, that could... No, there... Well, maybe that one's already claimed and they just haven't arrived yet. That might be a thing. Let's set you for worker by cart only and see what happens. You are emptying. Okay, so you're going... No, you, you don't have a cart. So the, this one already started. I'm guessing. Yeah, she's coming out by hand. Because she was already doing it. Okay. You are on your way. No, you're done. Okay, so we won't be able to test that one for a while. I'm curious if they will be forced to go get a cart. But can we? With everybody moving 200 at a time... These carts are going to be full forever, you know, used and busy. So we put the other one where? Uh, i got to think about that. Here. 
And you guys are all used up. Okay. And they're almost worn out, too. You guys... Uh, one of them's getting low. So that's... I thought there were three carts. Yeah, there's three parkings over here. And we're grabbing these as fast as we can, too. It's a temporary thing. We're not going to be doing this very often. Moving all this kind of quantity around. Though we may see that a lot as we decide to finally start using these guys and all the warehouses and start filling everything up. Then I would imagine there won't be a cart anywhere to, to use. You just got full of a bunch of bricks, didn't you? Yeah. Let's... No? Okay, well you... You made it, but let's slow you guys down. Let's use your labor in other places. Take you down, I guess, yeah, like so for a while. We're almost done on bricks. For, you know, the bricks we're going to use for most of the rest of the game. So, or the series. Completed its own well. Okay. Uh, oh, that's our second one. So you're in, and you're in. So that means we took this out. So let's... Though I'm stuck now waiting on you, right? Uh, chickens will not fit in there. Unless I do it this way, but that wasn't the plan. The plan was to probably do something along... Well, I could do that. Let's spin you around. Hmm. There is a road that kind of curves in here. Is that important? We have an entrance there. We have an entrance there, so that road is kind of important. Okay. You are going to stick into the road if I do you there. If I put you there, it separates you from the other buildings. That's what I'm thinking. That roof against these roofs looked odd, but this, you know, this one's gone, so this will kind of set it out there. Or do we some, do something entirely different? Do something more like... Hmm... Do we need this pathway right in here? Charcoal comes up, goes firewood, charcoal, into these guys. These guys come around this side and go around and do their, you know, to the trees. You are the bricks. Your clay is out there, your sand's out there, your storage is over here. So you'll spend time doing things like this a lot. You'll be going for water though, right? Bricks. Do they use water? No. This, yeah, there's water. So they need an easy pathway down into here. So this pathway is used heavily with by them. Okay, so that is a limitation. I need to have this pathway available. You are... Well, you're down to 5,000. Okay, I'll speed it up. Maybe there is a, a chance of getting that done to, uh, this episode. So, you and you. So this pathway is important. And that still leaves that pathway looking pretty good. Right there. The question is whether we need a pathway over here. We have a good path there. This would definitely solidify this road. Well completed. Don't know where that one was. I think you go there. And another cart parking? Interesting. How big is a cart parking? Right there. Can another cart parking go in right like that? Space is occupied. Let's slow this down. Set you in there, and then bring the chicken coop in and see how that fits around it. So if you sat there, and because I don't want to, I got to build one and see if the other one works. Okay, you're there, and that actually still lines up well. Okay, so you would set more like that. Is that snow coming down? It is. So you would set like that, and the car parking is not blocking anything. I feel like we need one more in there. So you can go there, copy, or delete you, and copy you. Get the alignment right. Let you disappear, and set you back in. Like that. Okay, that works out well. I think that'll work. 
though chickens in the industrial area does feel kind of weird now, but I think it works. We'll, we'll, we'll just declare that it works. <laughs> though I think the kids might have had fun playing with chickens. Yeah, that's possible. Let's just peek at that real quick. I'm not committed to anything. I'm willing to change my mind or admit that something's wrong, that I'm that I'm wrong. If I am wrong. <laughs> um, the architecture looks good. And it, it works well in here with the housing. And the school. Uh, the school architecture obviously is different, but I think the kids would enjoy it. We do have... A road coming through here so it could back up against this road you know I'm kind of changing my mind here it doesn't mean that this was a mistake we can do other buildings in this area but that's clear at the end of the list it's not gonna build anytime soon but what about chickens in this area what else happens over here now over here well it's hard to find R and T when you're using W A S D and over here I don't think works I mean, we could do it, but I don't see it looking right. Now, so it's over here. I'm going to stay running slow because I'd like to see some green grass for a little bit longer. And it's about to all go away on me. I think it's got to be aligned like this so it comes down through the road. And does it come down like this? Which road do we access? This one? I'll put it like that. Or this one and put it like that if we put it here now there's water oh these wells I did set wells all through here make sure these guys had access to water I kind of forgot about that so if this went here align with what will be the road coming through here Yeah, I can spend an hour in between episodes just doing things like this. Do I like that better? Oh, of course, then I just accidentally set it in here. I, I clicked. Um, I don't know. Tell you what, let's just let the other one build. Whether we stock it or not, we'll figure out next time. But for now, we'll let it build and see what we think. Give you guys a chance to to see it and so let's bring that to the front you're in here where's this well this one is there you need to build next so put you in there you in there we get those built next are you getting close to your 2000 you're gonna be done okay so you could still go away could or we could leave that for now and decide later what happens there. It's just one more roof in an industrial area that, you know, who knows what goes in what building when you're looking at it from a distance. Maybe I'll leave that one for now. We'll empty it, but we'll maybe do something else with it. Maybe storage for one of these stores, this kind of stuff in there. Could do something like that. Now everything's going to go white and it's going to be a little bit harder to figure everything out. How are we doing up in here now? So you are full. You're full. Or full enough? No, you're full. You're full. Okay. Did we steal jobs from somebody else? What just happened? I wonder if by manipulating the laborers, the ladies are no longer laboring. Um, that is this one. All right, so now looking for a job, ladies. There's still ten ladies looking for a job, and eight that are laborers. Okay, what just happened there? How is that possible? What were they doing instead? They were working on the farms. Now we're down to one. It is December. They well, no, that happened a month and a half ago. Yeah, I leave them in there to thresh. And everything got threshed. Yeah, that's all threshed. Over here, we're threshed. And I don't know how much product ever came in. 
That one had a problem all the way through the season. We're threshed over here down to one. But that was, well, maybe it was in November that everyone transitioned. But, yeah, by shifting the wages, it's very possible that... Okay, well, let's, let's find out, because that happened for men and women. So are there any jobs left unfilled between men and women throughout the whole place? So everything here is looking right. We still have two working in, in the chickens. Uh, of course, they're permanent. We have a teacher. We have four students over there. Our priest is still employed. They're permanent. We've got two ladies working this one and four working this one to try to bring in all that product and using laborers to help finish it, to help them out. There should be four in each of these drawing product in from all around the map. Though that doesn't have to be all year long because we kind of get that done but no we don't there's still a lot of product over here that needs to move okay so we got to keep doing that that is this one in particular drawing in the rest of it lots of storage space still available no red marks here and they stay as four all the way through december i think we need to kick that in a little further there's a lot of product left to move around what's over here so we got a bunch over here that need to move and over here wow um so both of you needed a couple more months so where was that there you too okay get you moving in from there uh, although you know of course these market stalls here can still draw from these as well whatever's closest to them but over here we still have a bunch of apples and these apples aren't the apples that we got from um, from the orchards so they're a separate crop they came from the houses because they are at least I assume they did maybe you know we're buying them over here but I guess it's possible that a laborer brought them over here but it doesn't make sense to me because over here is far closer where are apples over here right there um, calling for 10,000 so much closer now sunflower oil oh never mind you're just Reserved me, you're taking it away. Okay. How's sunflower oil doing, by the way? Sunflower plants, we lost a crop, so we're going to eventually be hurting on that one. So I need to remember not to sell as many. Sunflower, there's, I don't think anything came in this year. So what we have there is what we have. So no more selling sunflower oil for a while. Um, other jobs. Trading dock is off because of the frozen river. Ah. Now, I've been told that these do not turn because the river's frozen, and that should be obvious. My question was, how come it doesn't say that? When over here, it should say that. It doesn't actually say it. Okay. Over here, smeltery, it says it does not. Where did we see that? It was an off month. Oh, when I hired? No, it doesn't tell me. Where were we? Where was I when it had the, the, the red you know, exclamation point? This will not run when the river is frozen. Now I don't know how to retrieve that message. Where was I when I saw that? So you're bringing stuff over for next time, but you're not actually going to be running anything. You are where? Supplying resources. So you're filling up, but are you actually going to try to work? Let's see what happens there. You still have a timer left on your, your going to work. So this will be the ultimate test here. You are supplying more resources. Dude. So, yeah, and after this you'll be going home. But I'm pretty sure that this is... It will not actually run when it is frozen. But there was no message telling me that anywhere. Uh, can't work in the winter, so it says that here. But it, it just wasn't the same message as the other one. The other one surprised me because I'd never seen that before. I certainly never saw it associated with this. But you can go away for the off months. That was just there to test this thing. It, it, it does not run. So you are emptied. Let's just undo that and fire all of you. And this can just sit vacant for a while. Okay. You are needing wood. And that's just a matter of... Uh, laborers dealing with it so I could move your settings over if I hadn't already 
apply to all and apply to all so we should be hiring laborers to bring some some out there and whether or not that happens anytime soon I'm not really concerned we've got our our uh, ore over here for these guys to use and that's all that I was interested in what was applied did I just click something I shouldn't have Oh, I guess it was that one over there. It was just delayed. Okay. Um, heard a noise. That noise was another well. So we just got that one done. Um, another well. So we're getting these wells in just to just to get them in place and to get them filling up for when they actually are needed. So over here, we've got a lot more water. And a, not a lot more over there. Plenty over there, but luckily I just showed up. And over here, uh, that's not it. Where's the well? There you are. So, not much over here, but yeah, it's the only one on this side. They'll probably be hitting that pretty heavy. So, but luckily I was doing their thing. I'm going to slow down because I'm trying to do things. And there's a bunch of kids in this one now. Let's see the school over here before we continue on. No kids ever went to school over there. Okay, so jobs over here. You guys are good. You're fine. You're good. The one that's over there, the manager. Um, you were, but I got rid of you. All of the warehouses have a lady to keep all these things topped off. Um, you... I've never done much with and it looks like that milk has gone bad so maybe we do want another person maybe we are making more milk than I've been uh, is milk going bad I've kind of forgotten about the dairy probably should have increased that we are missing two guys in the town hall that's the first I've seen that happen uh, treasury what am I doing here resources milk uh, there you are so milk we have been losing a lot of milk because we probably haven't had enough people to process it into cheese. Yeah, so that's a thing. I've kind of forgotten about that. Now that we've added more another cow shed and added more um, sheep, I never did increase the milk production, milk uh, workers. So that was a mistake. So you are all year long. We'll go with two at this point. And we'll see how that goes. All right, so Balaklia, let's take care of you. And I want to continue looking at other jobs before we get into March. So you are full, and Balaklia is there. And we still have eight more days. All right, so flour, we have enough for ourselves. Potatoes, we have enough for ourselves. Dried fish, same. Sunflower oil, we're going to keep. Sallow, we've used everything up. Clothes. We're actually doing fairly decent in clothes now. We could sell off 500 of that just to make sure we don't have a warehouse filling up anywhere. So deal and clothes. Where are we at money-wise? We're at 15,000. Clothes right there. Let's bring 500 over. And temporary you. World map. Textile. We've got a lot of textiles. We're going to turn those into clothes. Leather. We've got quite a bit of leather. Good. Uh, metal parts, we're still in that 300 range. And honey, we're in the 1500 range. And more people coming in and no or very little honey being added in those gardens. That's what I was mentioning earlier. So probably won't be selling honey anymore because we just don't make it as much as we proportionately should be with so many more people living in town. Buying iron no, but we're wow, we're doing great on iron now. Okay, so horses, sheep, lime, charcoal, nails, stone, stone. We've still got ten thousand, but we do have a bridge to bring to to deal with soon. We do. Let's bring in the whole five thousand deal. So we'll buy the stone, and hopefully get it moved into here before too long there's room for it any stone still sitting in this place there's another five over there okay this bridge is going to be at least ten thousand alone there's only a thousand in each of these right stone a thousand yeah thousand for the foundation so stone's not a biggie for the, for these guys but they sure are on stone bridges okay so where am i now 
Um, 50 minutes. I do need to be wrapping this up. I've got, it's already kind of late in the evening for me, and I've still got to edit and and uh, render it and upload it. Um, anything else? We're looking at, at wages. Who's who's employed right now? You guys have 18. You're probably not doing anything because you have too many logs. So you, I do need a seasonal hire. Because, yeah, the, once you haul all the logs down, you just sit there until your firewood gets actually used. And the firewood, well, there's 600, so someone is actually coming to get some. Interesting. That must be something to do with over here. You, you. Firewood's not you. Um, you're... None of these. This is all charcoal. Where's that 600 going? You're going up over here. Ah, uh, firewood. You are... Where's the new... This one. That's the 600. We're storing firewood over here. She's going to go and get some firewood. Okay. So we're keeping... We could almost keep 2,000 over here. Just because it takes her so long to get around to getting it. Yeah, let's leave a, a space of storage over here for that. Okay. So otherwise, yeah, these guys aren't needed as much because they just... They just don't uh, use up their supplies. They're, they're 18 logs fast enough. So we'll kind of stagger this out. One guy on the off season. And we are December. Don't need you now. So two months on, two months off. Well, something like that. Just kind of stagger that randomly, see how that goes. What are, what are you guys doing? You have got 14 logs. You got five guys in there. But you're making the charcoal as fast as they're making... Yeah. We must have a whole bunch of charcoal right now. 32,000. And you are what? You're just not showing any smoke. Why are you not showing any smoke? There it is. I can just see it. Against the white snow background. It does not show up well at all right now. Interesting, but that's it right there. I was wondering if that just got turned off to, uh, you know, in the background in order to help with, I don't know, frame rate or something. But no, it is still there. Ah, now I can see the contrast right there. Okay, so with you finishing up, we should have 42,000 charcoal in town. We're doing great in charcoal right now. And that's with setting the emphasis toward workers instead of laborers all of a sudden it's working again what is that all about yeah so maybe next time we'll get into March I will try that experiment killing every job on the map getting all the farms done and if we do all that and this still does not hire up I mean completely maxed out <laughs> I'm gonna know something's really broke but there were a lot of unemployed people available, and this did not fill up at all last time. Not even enough to sow all the fields. So I'm certain that something has, has changed there. But yeah, next time, let's let's try that. Um, I guess I can just speed this up now. Although I never did finish Balaklia. Let's see if that's even possible still. balaklia has got two days left. Let's just do this real quick. Was there anything else? Or did we finish up? We did. Stone was the last thing. Okay, you are done. Speed you up. And any other jobs to go look at? You guys are doing what right now? Warehouse, you guys. So we got five over here. And are they still doing the brunt of the, yeah, the clearing out? So you guys are clearing out for the pigsty. And there's still four trees left over there. I was going to set all the rest of these houses in here, but I think that's probably not going to happen for a while. And... There, yeah, there'd be so many logs to come down to do that. I really would. Okay, well, I think that is a wrap for this one. We'll see this guy go in. Where is the chicken coop? That is you. I was at a weird angle. We'll see that go in next time. And, or should we do that now? Let's speed this up and let's just run max speed for a while. Let's pop that in now and you guys can see it. And then let me know what you think. Does it work in the industrial area? Is it something that's just going to blend in and not even really notice it anymore? Or should it be out here in the more residential area? 
That's what I'm curious about. The roof is different, architecture is different, but ox died of old age. But lost another one over here. Let's do that real quick. It probably, it, ultimately, it doesn't matter. It's more just aesthetics. But what do we think of those aesthetics? So we got more young bulls coming in. Let's let this bull take over and do that. You now live over here. Okay. Chicken coop is completed. Let's go over here and tell me what you think. Guys. I had this happen once before. They can't leave the chicken coop they were walking through they weren't part of the construction crew and I had to I, they, they sat there for quite a long time I thought they were gonna die so I had to demolish and then they could walk away and then I could undemolish and until then they would not walk through that fence no matter what yeah these guys are the oh they're construction workers Interesting, but they got stuck inside and all of our little white lines freaking out over here. I don't know what to do. A stick is falling across my path. <laughs> For those of you who have ever seen A Bug's Life. Anyway, so there is a chicken coop. It doesn't do us any good, though, because it's dead of winter and every roof is white. So that doesn't really mean anything. But let me know your thoughts on that guy. And with that, I think I'm going to call this one done. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye now.